There's a bunch of sheep up there. Man, for sure, three of them. Let's go. Maybe you get ready, because I need to look at that wide one. Are you on? Come on. Dude, when you shot it went, you know, like it sounded cool. So, well, let's watch that video. Right yeah. Send you guys up the, the canyon up on top and have you make that circle. Okay. And then we'll go down low and, and see if we can't put eyes on something down low. Okay. I'm going to hit this just a little quick loop right here real quick. Yeah. Just to make sure that one of that huge shaft is on the rocks. Morning to day two. Had a great day one yesterday. We saw probably 200, maybe even 250 sheep. One band of almost 200 probably. Uh, a couple good rams right before dark last night. So we're checking on them first thing this morning. See if they came back over to our side. If not, we're going to go check out some new areas, see what we can turn up. Came around the corner back there and there was a band of rams pretty close in front of us in the rocks. They worked up this valley in front of us, so we're gonna take a walk around and see if we can find them. There's one pretty good looking ram in there, but we need to look at them a little bit more. We found that band of rams about 550 yards away. There's probably 10, 15 rams over there. One pretty good one in there, 27, 28 inch ram, but just a little young is not what we're looking for. So we took our time and looked them over, but we're gonna go back and move on from here and see if we can go find something else. Just wanted to show you guys a feature on base map here. We were trying to show you why we were driving back there, but it was a little bumpy to say the least. Uh, we got the landowner on it and he was able to drop us a pen out here which is a little over a mile that way as the crow flies. We go here and we can go to draw a line. We can just drop it where we're at, hit the add button, and go over to where we got our pen dropped. And now we know we're 0.6 miles in a straight line um, to that pen. So we pulled over onto this little side road and we just found another band of rams down here that we're gonna go for a little walk and look at them then we'll come back and go down to that pen and see if we can find the rams that they know about down there. We got 12 sheep out here in front of us at 840 yards. They're tucked up in the shade in that cliff out there. It looks like a group of ewes with maybe one ram in it. It looks pretty good from here, but we're gonna get the spotter out and take a little closer look. All right, so we're in the middle of day two here. It's the hot afternoon, so we're taking a break. Sheep are all laying down in the shade right now. Um, I'm gonna take this opportunity to shoot my rifle. This is something we always suggest. If you have somewhere during your hunt to get away, you're not gonna scare animals, especially like we're doing. That's one of the reasons I shoot suppressed. So we're gonna do that right now. We're pretty close to the property line here where we're shooting. So we're gonna check base maps out. We're gonna check our property line. So we can zoom in here, see the ranch that we're on see what direction we're facing and now I can now see that that property line is off to my right side about 300 yards over here and running the opposite direction of which we're going to shoot over here so we know that we're shooting under the proper proper property and yeah here we go shooters ready spotters ready hit the low left eyeball what's your wind call 
full value. Yeah, probably seven to eight, somewhere in there. So we're gonna call that what? Four MOA maybe? Yeah, I'd give it a whirl. All right, shooter's ready. Spotter's ready. High. High? Center high. Center high, good wind call, how yep. high? Um, I don't know, probably call it three feet. That high? Yeah. Okay, I could I might have let this rear end drop a little bit. Didn't feel that good. Shooter's ready. Spotter's ready. Hit. A little high left. It was slightly high, like you hit the top of that rock, but it was centered. Morning of day three here. We spotted three really nice rams from about two miles away. The other guys who uh, helped spot them gave us a general idea of their location before we could get over there. We've dropped a pen using base maps. Uh, so we're gonna start a track here and see where uh, we actually end up, see how far we walk, and then we can drop a pen when we see these sheep as well. Got it going. since you're pretty exposed over there. Hopefully you can turn them up. If not, we'll move on and find some more. Get our track stopped here and see how far we went. one miles. It's always surprising how far you walk when you feel like it was a pretty short little hike. <laughs> I'll take a minute here and check out the weather center on base map. See what it's looking like for today. It's supposed to be pretty hot. So we can go in here. This will show you your current temperature. Uh, you got a seven day forecast down here which is nice. And then even nicer for uh, more detailed stuff you got an hourly forecast in there. Obviously a high, a low for today. See how hot it's going to be today be a nice cool 87 got a wind feature and then this is a really nice feature for hunting obviously you got your sunrise uh, sunrise times uh, sunset times so you can get your legal shooting times off of that and then uh, you get your altitude barometric pressure temperature so I'll use this feature to compare it to my Kestrel and my other ballistics programs for my shooting stuff Well, anyway, that's some good features about uh, the weather center and base maps. We're going to go keep looking for sheep now. two behind the bush, right? There's two almost next to each other now and he's the bottom right of the two. Yep. Yeah, yep. Six feet. Okay, is everything ready then? Good here. things I can go back and look at what the actual conditions were 
uh, with its barometric pressure and humidity and altitude and things that the base map can do on that side of things for the shooting, which is just a cool log for me to have. And we're also going to drop a pen that we can use the straight line tool uh, to double check our distance. I'll, I like to check that with my Kestrel and my rangefinder. It just confirms that all my data is working together. And then obviously we have a reference point to help us go find a big. Well, we made our way over here at about a, I don't know, just a nice quarter mile walk down that hill. We're able to find this uh, javelina, so that's good. We're gonna double check our, uh, finish off our line tool on the base maps, and we're gonna get him on the pack, get him back up to the side by side, and go try to find some sheep. We got about two hours of light left. There you go, 686 yards. How far was the shot? Shot, I uh, shot for 685. And that's right in line with? Yep, that's right in line with where I marked a waypoint from the shooting point. Direct line of sight. Get him back so we can go shoot hunting. Morning of day four, which is last morning. We got to fly out today a little afternoon, so we got four to five hours to try to get it done. See what we can do. Here they are, right here. There. Okay. Ready? I'm recording on the... Okay, I see some horns way up high. Yep. See them? S way up to the left in the rocks. Looking at us now? Yeah. Here Give me a range. At 250. 250? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you on him? I'm on him. I'm Yeah. Down. yeah, he might have hit him actually, but I don't see him hitting him. He's, he's going up now? Yeah, he's behind yeah, he's, the trees. He's the lead one. He went behind a rock? Yep. He's about to... Oh. He may have hit, it sounds like it hit. I didn't see dust. He's coming there. I'm pretty sure we got one. Give me a little recap here. You can stay on it, on the scope, just talk. Okay. Well, we got on a ram uh, this morning. Pretty good one, had him at 250 yards. Uh, made a shot on him. You know, we think it was good, but he didn't have too much reaction to it other than he ran downhill. And now he's bedded behind some rocks and some shrubs. He hasn't come out. The other one that left him, uh, the other one that was with him, left him looking back a lot so we think he's uh we think he's dead back behind this rock but we're just giving him a minute here making sure he doesn't come out and then we're gonna go up there video. yeah let's go to the buggy and get my bag he's he's dude when he shot it went you know like it sounded cool he's dead back there or he's very hurt Well, that wraps up a four-day hunt out here in West Texas for Audad. We had a great time. Uh, took it down to the last minute almost, but we were able to take this beautiful ram on the morning of day four, uh, last day of the hunt. So uh, thanks to Alex at Eco for having us out. 
had a great time out here. Saw an incredible amount of sheep, some really good ones. Uh, thanks to Basemap for helping us out with this hunt. They're coming out and showing us everything they have in their app. It's a great tool. Um, you know, we are hunting on a private ranch out here. That's It's an 80,000 acre ranch, so we're lucky to be able to come out and hunt on this big property, but we still found ourselves on property lines, boundaries, uh, a lot of places where there aren't fences. And you're not sure what draw, goalie, uh, ridge line is really the property line or not, so that helped us out a lot. Um, they've got a lot of cool features in there. We use the straight line point uh, a lot to check our distances we are shooting at and confirming our ranges were appropriate. It's a great tool, great product. Make sure to go over and check it out in the App Store and Google Play. We'll see you guys next year.